Okay, race week. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And how do you set yourself up for success? How do you put yourself in the best possible position physically, physiologically, and mentally, ready to run as fast as you possibly can next weekend? Now, next weekend for me is a 10 mile race, but it's a B goal. The big A goal is in 10 weeks time at Abu Dhabi Marathon. But this is a great indication of where I'm at right now. I want those race day feelings, race day sensations, and also the process of race day to figure out where I'm at right now and to remind myself what it feels like to race and to put everything that I've been doing in training into practice to say, okay, where am I at right now? And what do I need to change or add in order to put myself in the place where I wanna be for Abu Dhabi Marathon down the road? So although it's not the A race, although it's a B goal, we can perfectly use this within the training week, keeping the training for the A race and using this as a specific long run. So we've done the long run this morning, but we're gonna do another specific long run on Saturday. And that makes the total volume for the week at the level it needs to be, but also the intensity exactly the same, which nicely feeds into the A goal. Whilst practicing what race day feels like, reminding ourselves what race day feels like, but also giving ourselves a bit of a kick and being like, this is where you're at right now. And you may have nine, 10 weeks to train, but you better dig in then for the final nine, 10 weeks and get serious because this is how far you're off or maybe it's a confidence boost and you're absolutely on track. And maybe you need to then course correct what your target is for the goal race, the A goal race in nine, 10 weeks. So this gives us lots of information. What I like to do is to keep this week as as similar as possible as the week is gonna be before Abu Dhabi Marathon. So the night before, we know that going into race week, some of us will sleep well and some of us may be too anxious to sleep. So then you need to accumulate lots of nights good sleep before so that it's not, it shouldn't be an anxiety point. You should be thinking, I've already accumulated six nights of good sleep, so tonight, of course I'm nervous because I'm really excited about tomorrow or I'm really nervous that I might not hit my goal or whatever it might be. But set, put yourself in a position where that night doesn't matter. So you're putting yourself in a position for Friday night. If I don't sleep at all and if I get zero sleep, I'm still ready to run a good time. I'm still ready to run a good race on Saturday because I've had six nights of accumulated sleep and the last month has been great as well. That's where you want to be. Then the food the night before, we don't need to carb load. For, we don't need to sort of have any extra energy ready for a 10 mile race, but isn't it a great opportunity to practice ready for the A race? If I go on Saturday morning fasted without eating anything, maybe just drinking water and did the race just on water, I'd be completely fine for a 10 mile race. If I tried to do that in a marathon in nine, 10 weeks, that's gonna be a different story. And maybe at two hours, two hours 20, the wheels are gonna fall off and it's not gonna feel great for the last 30 minutes or however, an hour or three hours, however long it takes me to get to the finish line. So Saturday is the perfect opportunity to practice what I'm eating the night before, the day before that, and also what I'm having on the morning. And that should be closely correlated or exactly the same as your interval session and as your, your weekend long runs and, I, and especially specific long runs. So there should be no change. It should be you going through the motions because that's exactly what you're used to. So Friday night will be about 700 grams of sweet potato for me and I'm waking up as late as possible on Saturday morning, I'll come to this in a second, but as late as possible so I, I can get that extra sleep because it will also help your mind. Then having the exact same breakfast one hour before, five bananas blended in water one hour before because that's exactly the same as what I'm gonna have at the start uh, one hour before Abu Dhabi Marathon. And then also outsourcing a lot of the logistics. So thinking, what is it gonna look like is the parking at the race on Saturday? What does it look like getting to the race? What, what is the route? Where do, where do the drop bags go? Is there a map? Do I need to find out? Do I need to get there a little bit earlier because I don't want that to be a panic? It's amazing how many people will do a 13 week training plan and then forget the logistics part at the end. Like if you want to get to London Marathon, you need to sort of like be setting off. Even if you're in zone one or zone two, you need to be probably setting off uh, one to one and a half to two hours before 
because it's trains to get there, it's walking to get there. You've got to factor that in. And then when you get those queues and there's people dropping their bag, what's that going to look like on Saturday? And then how does that differ to the A race in nine, 10 weeks? Those are important points. You don't want to be stressed getting to the start line so that you've not done a warm up. And that leads me nicely onto the next point. What does the warm up look like? So how many people are signed up? How busy is that start line going to be? Do I need to jostle for position in the first kilometer? Can I get myself towards the front of the, of the race so that I'm, I've got space? I can go out quick and then I've got space to myself and I can be calm as soon as possible. Visualization. How do you get calm as soon as possible so that you're keeping your heart rate lower so that you're not panicking in the first couple of kilometers? Those should be your slowest ones, providing you put yourself in a good place to have space. Don't to be bobbing, weave, bobbing and weaving through lots of people in order to keep on, on your pace. It's exhausting and it's probably going to add distance to the total race um, distance. Nutrition for the race. That should be exactly the same as your interval session and your long run at the weekend. But have you, is, that, is that in stock at the moment? Do you have that in your house or have you got to get it before? Are you going to leave it to the day before or are you going to get it right now? It's so important to be pl well planned in your head and have that down. Otherwise, you panic in the day before. And then you start to be able to make excuses to yourself. Well, I didn't have the correct gels. I didn't have the correct sports drink. I got there really late and I was stressed and I couldn't drop my bag. And therefore, I had to sort of, I started late and I couldn't get a good position. And therefore, my time wasn't right. Don't let yourself don't put yourself in a position where you can make excuses. Put yourself in a position where it's just you versus the road. And then you can get the very best out of yourself. You're setting yourself up for success. And that feeds so nicely into the final goal, into the, the A race goal, because you're used to it. The process you're putting in place, it's worked again. And that's what you want, a nice check in the box. And it's as true indicator as possible of where you are right now. So you've not said, oh, I've got all these excuses and therefore we don't have any idea of what shape I'm in for the marathon. We don't want that. We want, okay, that's everything went to plan. The, the night before, the food was great. The stomach was good. The breakfast on the morning was great. Got there in exactly the right time. Knew where to drop the bag. That was slick process. Got to the start line. Knew I needed to sort of say, excuse me, can I get out of the way? And got to the front. The start was very calm. My heart rate was low. And then I watched my heart rate climb to a point and I was able to hold it. What does that give us as an indication for the marathon? That's what you want to, that's, so again, it's always working back from the goal, goal. What is perfect? What do we want from Saturday? And how can I make that happen before then?